Hello everyone, this is Depends Politics Asia. Uh, this is an update again on the Snake Island. So, so Snake Island episode, don't know, 4, 3 or 4. And the Russians have tripled down. So the last time I, I mentioned that the Russians have doubled down on their, uh, on their claims. And now they have tripled down. They have done even more claims and now in details. So... So in case you do not know where is a snake island, this is a Mykolaiv front. Okay, this is Crimea, uh, the famous Crimea. This is Kherson Oblast. This is Mykolaiv Oblast. This is Odessa Oblast. This is Transnistria, Moldova, Romania. And at this border of Romania uh, and Ukraine is this little island with Bile or Bill. This is uh, according to information that uh, Bill is actually the name of the village here because according to some international law uh the island have to be inhabited it have someone have to live there in order to claim uh it's not a stone or a rock uh not not stone i mean it's not a rock uh, so by putting a settlement there it's no longer a rock uh, it's a legitimate island uh where is someone is living there and that's why the island is now with this bill or belay here so uh but otherwise this island is called zimine or uh in colloquial terms is called snake island so the the russian defense ministry in the earlier uh report uh said that they have shot down uh one Beretta tb2 over the snake island and and then uh okay let me start off with this so this is the tripling down of the russian defense ministry so let me read uh what they wrote so they they say on may the 7th there's a direct order from zelensky which is the president of ukraine if you still do not know who is he and the uh, ukrainian general staff uh with direct involvement of advisors from the united states and united kingdom to plan a major offense to capture zemini island so over the past two days the Ukrainians have made uh, separate uh, several attempts to land air and sea uh, assault uh, on Zemini Island, and accordingly to the Russians, this is important in controlling the northwestern part of the Black Sea, uh, northwestern part. So, uh, Black Sea, this is the Black Sea, and apparently this island supposedly can control this area. Uh, with no, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Unless you have a uh, some naval missiles over there or a uh, military air base anyway um so the the attack is thwarted uh due to uh actions of the russian armed forces unit on the island uh which is quite surprising seeing how the big explosion happened there anyway the according to the russian defense ministry the ukrainian suffered heavy losses for ukrainian aircraft including three Sukhoi-24 and one Sukhoi-27, uh, three Mi-8 helicopter with paratroopers on board, and uh, one Mi-24, which is the Hind attack helicopter that's been shot down in the air while repelling the attacks near Zemini Island. Attacked by who? I have no idea. So within two days, 29 UAVs has been shot down uh, around this region. And uh, among the 29, eight of them is actually Beretta TB2 strike UAV. So, and before this report, they they also say four more Beretta TB2s has been shot down in the afternoon, and also three armored Ukrainian amphibious assault boats carrying uh, Ukrainian naval personnel had, were destroyed during attempted a landing during the night of May 8. So there is this attempt to actually uh, attack in the night according to the russians uh and they tried to land and they got destroyed the if you are wondering uh when we say about ukrainians have no navy uh it's not entirely they ha don't have a navy but they have they still have boats they still have assault boats and uh, particularly they are all these boats are actually operating along around odessa and they have been refitted with uh, some missiles uh, i have i think i have reported it uh, more than a month ago so the so as a result they claim that uh due to this uh 
attempt by the Ukrainian uh, side. 50, uh, 50 soldiers or commandos or airborne soldiers has been killed at sea and on the coast during the landing while they are try while they try to capture the island. 24 bodies of the dead Ukrainian servicemen has been left on the shore of Zemenik Island. So I would love to see evidence on this. Uh, hopefully I will see some photos or videos uh, from the Russian side to corroborate this claim because uh, without because this would totally uh, uh, endorse whatever they have been saying uh, or else uh, this just talk and uh, it's hard to verify when you have no photos of apparently clear dead people uh, that is really hard to imagine because uh, but however the Russian Navy is not known to uh, take videos and photos to post online uh, you, you probably will have noticed uh, since the start of the war till now you don't really see much things from the Russian Navy. I think the only video that I saw is the sinking of Mos Moska, uh, Mos Moskov, uh, the Moscow the cruiser. Other than that, I don't think I've seen anything from the Russian Navy. So, so that's that. And and I want to cover a bit on uh, what I, I mentioned during the the I think the last update on this maybe episode three basically of this is actually doing the summary the last summary so if you missed it uh go and watch the summary the last part of the summary is actually talking about uh this uh snake island so i mentioned there's a lack of navy uh to cover this uh the snake island by the russian side uh, according to satellite imaging there's there's no spotting of a uh, russian navy and uh, that is quite uh unexpected so the then I, I saw uh, the pictures uh, coming out from Sevastopol, which is here. There, there is this victory parade. And uh, the, the troops that is uh, parading at the victory parade at Sevastopol are mostly naval. So, which means that uh, the Navy is actually all at Sevastopol participating in the victory parade which is why we are not seeing them in operation around this region and i think that is a good reason why we are not seeing the naval cover for the island and maybe the ukrainians know that and because they have seen they probably have uh, satellite imaging and uh, intelligence from the united states side that the navy is not in operation they are all busy so that's why uh, the ukrainians are attempting this attack of course, uh, if you don't believe the Russian Defense Ministry, then yeah, there's no attack. And they are quite quite dumb to not attack uh, if, because there's no naval cover. But we, as we have seen, there's fighter jets, that we have drones uh, flying around this, around this uh, island, which everyone agree that there is no strategic uh, meaning in capturing and it's undefendable. And then why do you risk uh, your precious uh, drones and fighter jets to attack an uh, island which is technically useless and they are not going to capture. So this is my question I'm going to pose to you guys who are pro-Ukrainian because it makes no sense. Um, why do you spend your assets on an island which um, is not going to make any difference? And remembering all the surface to air missiles are uh, being placed on this island are all short range missiles. The furthest, the last one that was destroyed, uh, the M1, I think it's only 12 kilometers in range in terms of the air, the, the, the air, air cover. And with this range, it can't even intercept any single aircraft uh, near Odessa, which, which is probably deliberate. The Russians did not attempt to install S-300 or S-400, uh, which will then give them a, like a 200 kilometer range or, you know, or even 400 kilometers range. And that will cover the entire of Odessa. Uh, the Russians deliberately did not send in a major surface to air missile system over there. So the only ones that they send are short range one and short range uh, missiles are meant to defend against uh, helicopters, you know, or short or uh, ground support aircraft. So uh, it's clear that the Russians do not want to involve Snake Island in any kind of fight. But somehow the fight comes to them. And that is a uh, the situation and i can have i have corroboration uh in terms of this uh satellite uh data 
from uh, H.I. Sutton again, Covert Shores, at Covert Shores, this is on Twitter. And he also kind of can corroborate that, corroborate that uh, most of this Navy, the major naval, Navy are all around Crimea. You can see the fast attack craft. So the major one is this frigate uh, Makarov, which was uh, apparently sunk and not sunk. And then we have the Corvette, which is along the coast. We have another Corvette along the coast. Uh, this is a landing ship tank, landing ship tank. So landing ship tanks are probably just doing resupply runs, I guess. Another landing ship tank. Uh, and then another, this is a landing craft. So this is probably resupplying uh, Snake Island. And then uh, not, he have no idea what the hell is this. Uh, he believe this is a petrol craft or likely a landing ship craft as well. And fast attack craft, auxiliary uh, auxiliary uh, ship, a fast, fast attack craft. So all these are probably just here to for petrol. Uh, except for auxiliary, not sure what he's doing. So this one is probably bringing supplies uh, from maybe Turkey, Turkey or other side of Russia coming in, perhaps. So there is a se severe lack of Navy around Snake Island. So there is actually no air cover uh, or air defense cover coverage uh, by the Russian Navy. So this actually corroborates that the the Russian Navy is mostly uh, import. Uh, the Black Sea Fleet is mostly import and uh, they are all participating in the Victory Day Parade. And and I also want to, uh, you know, I want to kind of uh, put this question out for you as well. So uh, for those that are very confident that the helicopter is actually Russian, the one that got destroyed, then uh, I want to ask you where, where did the helicopter fly from? So we, we will say, oh, from Crimea. But do you know the range of the MI-8? So the MI-8 range is actually 495 kilometers. So let's say it's 500 kilometers for easy calculation. The distance from, um, from Snake Island all the way to the closest air base. So closest air base that I seem to find is around. Uh, uh, let's find. Is there an airport around here? No. Um, let's see. Is that around here? No. Oh, well, but of course, I, I'm not saying that uh, the helicopters cannot land anywhere. They can land anywhere. So I think the closest one is around this here, this region. Uh, where is the airport? Oh, okay, forget it. I let me bring you to the one that I know, um, which is here at Yaf Batoria, which is here. So this is for two hundred forty nine kilometers. So, so let's say it's two hundred fifty kilometers. The range of the helicopter is five hundred kilometers. It's a to and fro, and the helicopter cannot stop. This is the maximum range of the helicopter. So would you send a helicopter on a max maximum range uh, to to the island? Uh, I'm not so sure. But of course, the helicopter could have stopped here and then this would probably make it uh, more sense. Um, probably. So I'm not denying that it's possible. So even at Sebastopol, this is even more impossible. Uh, because this is already 270 coming back is already over its maximum range so the chances uh and this of course and uh, and you also need to look at the speed uh the speed is at 250 kilometers per hour which means that uh one trip here is one hour and coming back is another hour so i'm not so sure uh given the range uh the distance needed i'm not so sure if it's a Russian helicopter but of course you can say that the Russians are very desperate and they want to uh, land their troops quickly um, but I, I can't deny that it's also possible and then of course because if it's just a one-way trip it's more than enough and maybe they can refill the helicopter uh, at the island so anyway this is just a follow-up video uh, on this uh, never-ending saga of Snake Island uh, the main thing is this uh, Ministry of Defense theory that the US and British are direct directing this operation and they are the Ukrainians are sacrificing a lot of precious uh, aircraft and drones just to capture this useless island. And of course, if you do, do not believe the MOD of Russia, then uh, all these are bullshit, all these are rubbish, nonsense. Then uh, you still cannot deny the fact that 
the Russia, the Ukrainians sent in Bayraktar TB2s and uh, fighter jets into the Snake Island to bomb uh, essentially useless troops that do not uh, pose a threat to the forces at Odessa. So uh, then how do you going to explain uh, the purpose of wasting ammunition here? Uh, which you have probably used them in Mikolai front. Uh, that's the question uh, you have to answer for yourself. Um, I mean, I'm just reporting and telling you what's up here and what are the things that it's about. And anyway, uh, I will look out for these uh, dead soldiers or rather sleeping soldiers. Uh, the soldiers that sleep on the snake and uh, if I saw soldiers sleeping on snakes, I will let you know. Uh, without this uh, snake sleeping soldiers, I don't, I cannot really confirm or believe for sure what the Russian defense ministry say because, uh, but somehow tripling down is have its own weight on it. And anyway, this is the quick update on the snake island and I'll see you in the next video.